1909 new update by Microsoft for Windows 10. Fortunately, I got a copy of initial release of Windows 10 1909 and today I'll give you a walkthrough of new features on my live virtual machine. So let me quickly boot into it. So before we start, let me show you an about page of this version of Windows 10. So we are on, as you can see, we are on 1909 with build 18363. So let's just get started and explore new features. Some changes have been made to start menu also. If you open start menu, an option can be expanded if you hover your mouse cursor on it. If you see the start menu, it looks like a little compact and compressed. If you just hover on any items on the left side, a menu will expand and we can see the text labels of the option. If you click on some option, then sub options will be shown. If you click on this power option, it renders other two sub options with tooltips on mouse over. It looks like there are no changes made to tiles. Right click options is as it was, but you can now change the size of tiles. Menu expansion feature is not just limited to start menu, but you often cotton also you will see the same animated experience with the options. New options have been added to notifications and control center. Microsoft developers have received feedbacks from customers requesting key changes in their existing notification access control. All Windows users will be happy by seeing the changes incorporated. The notification center has now got a bunch of settings added. When you uncheck allow notifications to play sound, notifications will not play any sound on the system. So Microsoft changed the default sort order of notifications to most recent in Windows 10 version 1909 so that the newest notifications are always displayed first. Windows 10 users who prefer the old, which is by name sorting order, can switch to it under Get Notification from these senders. You can now edit any options you want. On Quick Access Area through Edit Quick Link Access Link. You can modify the listing of the arrangement of icons here. It's going to be a useful feature. I hope you can add quickies to some third party applications too using this edit option. Some notification settings can be changed directly when the notification is displayed so that you don't have to go into the settings to do so. A new UI for calendar events creation. To access the calendar view, you will need to click on clock and you can see a panel below calendar. Now on the text box over here, you start typing your event title. As soon as you start typing, new fields will be populated below. Now this is something very quick to access. You can select event time here. The UI to select numbers is so classic. You can scroll the number wheel and choose a number. After the time is chosen, just select OK sign. Then you can add location if you need and just save the event or you can open dedicated settings for the event by clicking on more details button next to save. Wait, let me close this window. Okay, so uh, here you can provide the detailed description about your event and just save it. There are some more options present which are event specific for your availability status and the alert time. You can see all the events created on the calendar along with lot many details here. To view any event, just click on some date and your events will pop up. This is something which a lot of people will love. Windows 10 will now support digital assistant on lock screen also. Now Cotton and other digital assistants will appear on lock screen for the ease of control and access. A new option has been added in the settings to choose that. I can access Cortana even when it is locked. Pretty awesome. Not just Cortana, but Amazon Alexa also can be added on lock screen if you have it installed. 